Christian Stan Hardinger hopes that his presence will be of help for heal as Pilipinas when they lock horns with powerhouse Iran anew in the fifth window of the 2019 FIBA World Cup Asian qualifiers on Monday. Stan Hardinger was the Filipino dribbler's naturalized player when they battled Team Melly back in the fourth window of the qualifiers last September in Tehran. He had 30 points and 12 rebounds in their 73-81 loss. Obviously, you guys know that my game is everything but perfect. You know I'm a little unconventional, but I do think that with my speed on the court, I hope I can help the team a little bit on Monday, said the Phil German forward. Hillas will need all the help it could get on Monday, as their clash with the Iranians at the Mall of Asia Arena is a crucial one. The Nationals are in a must-win situation right now after suffering a heartbreaking 88-92 loss to Kazakhstan on Friday night in front of nearly 20,000 people also at the Mall of Asia Arena. The Philippines' win-loss record has now gone 5-4. The Filipinos are now tied with the surging Japan, who have earned a rousing 85-47 victory over Qatar at the Toyama City Gymnasium, also Friday. For heel as head coach Yang Giao, Stan Hardinger's presence on Monday will definitely boost their frontline's activity, which the decorated bench strategist felt was lacking when they battled the Kazakhs. Kazakhstan were led by Alexandra Zhigilin with 30 points and 7 boards, the 6-foot-8 forward center was just averaging above 6 points prior to facing Hilas, who dealt them a 37-point beatdown in the 2018 Asian Games. We will lose stands, Stanley Pringle, scoring, his aggressiveness and his leadership at the point guard position but we will gain Christian's quickness and his active play which we lack today with our bigs," Giao said. It's all about giving your best for the country and hope that yeah, we can get the victory on Monday. Dot since heel is lost to the Kazakhs, eyes are now on the team's naturalized players, if they could really fill in for Andre Blatch, the program's naturalized center ever since the Philippines made it into the 2014 FIBA World Cup in Spain. The 6-foot-11 Blatch has been vocal about his disappointment for not being included in the pool for the fifth window, even if his three-game suspension from that brawl with Australia last July has already been served. Stan Hardinger admitted there's pressure in being a naturalized player, but not in raking up the numbers, but to deliver for the whole country, especially now that what's on the line is the Philippines' World Cup aspirations. Basketball is much, much more complex than that, stats. It's like, I don't have to score more than 10 points to be really of help for our team, said Stan Hardinger, who began his journey with Gilas back in the 2017 Jones Cup. Like you've seen in the Asian games, where we played against this team, I don't know how much points I scored, but you can affect basketball in so many different ways that you're not seeing in the stat sheet. So I don't feel pressure to produce stats, because if I don't produce stats it's okay, shared Stan Hardinger, 20. 6 points and 10.2 rebounds during the ASEAN. Like I'm confident enough, or I have self-esteem to let media or fans like you know, get all the hate out, which is okay, because that's our job. But I do feel pressure playing for the country, I do feel pressure giving my all. I only feel the pressure, I wanna go out there, and no matter how many points, rebounds I scored, I know like my whole body is sore because I was hitting the deck three times and playing defense and running upwards, going back to the defensive rebound, running back in transition, that's why I feel pressure," he added. I feel pressure to play my heart out and to play my best for the country. I don't feel pressure to match anybody. Yeah, that's not how I feel the pressure, 